we use this technology basically we'll start and try to be interactive when i say yes or no like even whatever you don't know like just say yes or no nothing at least you will come back okay if you don't mind this option you will just come back okay so if you see computer what are all the components that you are aware of, which are available in a computer just try to list out your components that you know you can check or you can unmute yourself and answer also ram hard disk he replied as ram is i will call from now onwards memory ssd it's like a ssd is nothing but hard disk hdd so ssd is one of the type inside a hard disk solid state drive type of disks okay. and cpu input and output keyboard mouse monitor okay when you don't have input and output devices like keyboard and mouse if you power on a computer will it power on without mouse and keyboard and even there is no monitor it will power on we can't just give any out input and we can see what is going on on output on the monitor right but computer will still run okay smps is nothing but power supply okay so out of which these are the three critical components ram hard disk and processor very important components of a computer and all these three will be connected on a motherboard Okay. motherboard plus these three components are very important cpu means as of now you will think that entire box okay that entire box that we are aware but now onwards forget about that entire box when i say cpu it's just small chip on the motherboard okay if you see picture this is like a small chip which we will place on a motherboard if you see here this chip we will insert it on a motherboard you see this image here we will place that small chip this is entire motherboard here we will insert that small chip okay. so that small chip is only the processor our cpu on the entire box okay this is the process cpu from now onwards forget uh, when i say cpu it's a small chip not the entire box now to work with this computer you have keyboard and mouse right as an input devices and monitor as output okay. can you communicate as a human can you communicate with this computer directly not possible so you need an interpreter something like if you are in china or korea you don't know that language you need some interpreter to exchange your language to help you to translate here also we cannot directly communicate with the processor machine language we don't know machines cannot understand our language if you say what is 10 plus 20 this processor cannot understand what is 10 plus 20 and we will not, we are not aware of what is the machine level language like ascii codes every instruction we cannot convert into machine language and send right so here we need an interpreter who do you think like here is an interpreter you are working at least you work with computer for multiple times right at least or at least once who is the interpreter between human and a computer one even if it is wrong that's fine okay. any idea No. Okay. So after buying a computer without any data, without anything inside that computer, what will you do next? What we have to do next at least to work with that machine?
what will we do once we buy a new laptop without windows without linux okay it's an operating system we'll install windows os 10 or 11 whatever it is just for now we will install an operating system okay operating system is the translator like windows 10 windows 7 windows 11 whatever it is is the translator between human and the machine okay you are sitting here via input device we will send the data via operating system to the processor we'll see again internally how it works and again we cannot directly communicate with windows also okay even though it can understand human language we cannot directly give input to the operating system we need something else on top of operating system what is it OS is correct. And after OS, let's say here, if I want to draw a picture, just like on the desktop, I can't draw, right? I need draw a picture. I need paint. Paint is an application. If I want to play an audio file, if I want to play a movie, let's say movie, you need that media player. To play the movie okay audio plus video here also the same so it's an application which talks to the operating system directly not human so via input device we will give input to the application application will process it to the operating system in human level language still it is the instruction is human language that means english whatever language that you send human language and operating system will translate it into machine level language okay, machine level language and that instruction let's say simple thing as i discussed like 10 plus 20 instruction if you are sending it will go to calculator application everything that we work from windows machine or linux machine is an application like browser pane you open resume ms word text file, picture, everything that it need an application to communicate with OS. So here, this instruction via calculator application, it will go here. Operating system will convert into machine level language and that instruction will load in the memory. Memory is like a transporter. Load that instruction in the memory. Memory, it will take it to the processor. It will transport the instruction to the processor processor will execute it at least 10 the instruction has gave received right 10 plus 20 like 30 it will process in machine level language and it will ship back via ram to the operating system ram will take it back again to the operating system it is still in machine level language operating system will convert machine level language into human language again and display uh, give it back to the application application will display as third when you open calci whatever we are sending instruction so when we just click equal the entire process has happened in the back end clear so how fast is execute depends on how much ram you have and how fast is your processor okay. the speed of the computer the performance of the computer depends on ram and processor and hard disk let's say if you want to save that content if i want to save this picture i'll save it in the hard disk if i don't want i'll discard okay it's up to my need how much i want it's just a space to save data okay it's not a mandatory thing i mean mandatory but uh, I mean, quantity, uh, how much capacity is not uh, too much is not needed. Depends on your necessity, you can buy it. But RAM and processor, if you want better performance, you need to have le le capacity in terms of equal amount. Okay, whatever, like better performance, you need latest processor and a 16 GB memory. Okay, so that. 
if you have very latest processor let's say i7 processor you have 2 gb ram only so i7 is very latest processor it gives you better performance but ram is very less here you, you will see even though you have latest processor your machine will not give you better performance because you cannot send a lot of instructions 2 gb ram is limited os itself will take some amount of ram okay then remaining amount you will be using here it can do it can execute very fast but the way you ship to and fro here it is slow so overall you see delay in the work performance will be slow or let's say you have 16 gb ram very old pentium 4 processor old processor you can ship the instructions from here to here very fast but here it will execute slowly then it will give fast overall you will see delay in performance impact like slowness so that's why processor and ram should be in proportion when you are buying a laptop based on your need they should be in proportion yeah That's how basically a computer works. If you want to work with a computer, you need to have some operating system, which is a translator, either Windows or Linux, and some application should be there. Depends on the content that you want to play, like video, audio, resume, notepad, calculation. It need multiple applications. Depends on data that you want to execute. You need to have specific application. That's how basically a computer will function. Fine. Next thing, let's say you have spent some 40,000 to buy a computer and you are working on some program or whatever, you are learning something, it's a VMware, whatever it is, you are learning something. You paid so much money here. Now, someone at your home wants computer, they want to do some project work, let's say they want to attend online classes, whatever it is. At your home, somebody wants computer and they also want at 9 to 10 you also want to 9 to 10 because class is 9 to 10 you want to attend at 9 to 10 and somebody else also at your home want a computer at the same time it's not possible to split this computer because there is only one computer right so it's not possible to share that laptop so what will we do again spend some more money less or more buy another laptop you have purchased one more computer because it's not possible to share at the same time and they are also working that's fine you are also learning this course maybe after getting a job you will learn and this person is also executing some programs and after that again knowledge or let's say is working for his company is getting money so forget about the profit here okay what will be the outcome we will leave it now we'll go back to our basics forty thousand is spent Let's say you have 8 GB RAM and i5 processor, Intel i5 processor. Okay. 8 GB RAM. Okay. Now it can do a lot of other work. Let's say you are attending this class or you are practicing something on this technology, vSphere lab you are doing. You are maximum. Let's say you are in a situation where you are utilizing your maximum, maximum your use case. You are executing your use case. And if you see this computer usage, are you how much RAM are you using or how much processor are you using? If you see here, you can go to task manager. Sorry, task manager. Go to performance. Here you can see your computer real time usage. How much processor you are using? How much RAM are you using? The rest of the things that's fine so mainly ram and cpu if you see my this let's say i spend like fifty thousand just to deliver this class that means i'm utilizing peak i'm utilizing maximum during maximum utilization of my computer itself it is around not even 20 percent means i paid some fifty thousand this is my maximum utilization during this time i'm spending not even 20 percent of processor 
that means 80% is sitting idle same way ram so at least ram is almost 6.7 gb out of 8 gb almost 80% i'm using 80 85% with respect to processor okay so not even 20% at the same time someone wants a laptop i'm buy i'm spending more money and buying another laptop even though i'm not even utilizing 30 to 40% on an average that means remaining 60% of the resources are i sitting idle in my computer i paid so much money 60% sitting idle still i am paying more money and buying another computer because someone wants computer at my home at the same time here also if it, if i see utilization of their computer also it will be around 30 to 40% only okay it can do lot of work but even during maximum utilization it is this much only that means we are not giving that much work for that computer but still buying one more computer again okay understood the logic we are paying more money when our demand is increased when our demand for computer is increased even though it is up 60% is available still buying practically because it is not possible to split this computer share anything it's not possible to share this is what it's happening across worldwide all the companies with everybody it is happening okay they are paying more and more money and wasting lot of compute power forget about profit you are on let's say you are earning good okay both of you guys that's fine but look about wasting of compute resource and your investment your investment is increasing okay fine and you are wasting lot of compute power ram and cpu power you are wasting based on this logic three guys started thinking about this reason they formed a company called vmware and three person started this company why we are wasting so much compute power and still buying more and more computers not for personal use okay so you don't need to buy this tech product or you don't need to uh, do follow these things okay just for your quick understanding I've, i've taken a personal example of using personal computer okay it's related to business computers we will call it as servers we'll see we'll go to that background also okay they started thinking about why every company not only software company like as we uh, discussed yesterday pharmaceutical engineering universities hotels everybody who is running their business application banking all those things wasting lot of compute power and spending more and more money okay so to give some solution for them they have invented something new operating system already in the market microsoft windows was there windows series operating system and unix is just a flavor there were many companies red hat linux cent os okay ubuntu so see multiple linux operating systems are there this is microsoft is completely gui we know that with mouse itself we can manage and unix it's completely command line everything we need to run command two categories were already there apart from these two operating systems this company has developed one more operating system now we'll see how this operating system will work okay buy a computer let's say 16 gb ram i5 processor hard disk may be 1 terabyte depends on your need by a computer instead of earlier before this company everybody used to install either windows or linux only directly here on a computer now instead of installing windows or linux on this computer now you install this newly developed operating system by vmware get that voice install it here okay install that new voice here 
once you install new operating system here you can create folders here folders as simple as i create a new folder here like this okay you can create a folder here and you can assign ram cpu hard disk from here to this machine to this folder okay so that means from out of 16 gb ram you can give 4 gb ram here two cpus and 50 gb hard disk like this in older days with if you install directly windows or linux here you can create folders here also but it was not possible to split from here to here because this operating system was not designed such a way it's not possible to assign out of 8 gb 2 gb you cannot give it to this folder windows 10 or windows operating system from microsoft doesn't allow you like that or linux also it was not allowing like that but this new os these guys have something new developed developed newly and which will allow to split from here out of 16 gb we have given 4 gb still you have 12 gb available with you and out of 1000 gb hard disk you have given 50 gb you have still now 50 gb available with you and processor will see how it will split processor has a different calculation we will discuss about that later okay ram cpu disk you can split from here and assign it to this virtual machine sorry this folder as of now still it is called folder now this folder also has ram cpu and hard disk same like any other physical computer this is a folder on the screen like this but it has ram cpu and hard disk now this is exactly equivalent to a physical computer however physical computer has ram cpu hard disk it also has now it is also ready to install you can install any os here windows or linux and install whatever the application that you want to install you can work with it this computer will give the performance exactly equivalent to a physical computer with 4 gb ram 2 cpus and 50 gb hard disk however this computer will give you performance this physical computer with this much specifications this folder with the specifications will also give you the exact same performance not above or not below exactly equivalent clear and this is also allowing you to install windows operating system same like physical computer and it is also allowing you to install some application same like how you do it here instead of using physical computer now you can use this folder it's called virtual machine machine but it is only on the screen you cannot physically access it's only available here on the screen right on the screen with with your physical hands you cannot access touch it only on the screen you can manage but it is giving you output exactly like a physical computer however you can access your laptop physical laptop however you work with it you can work with it here also with the exact same performance okay but it is not physical this is physical it's not physical that it's called virtual machine but it is virtual okay now your need is fulfilled whatever the business application that you want to install here now you install it here and run then fine out of 16 gb we have given four only so 12 is available if you want you can create one more folder here and from now onwards i'll call it as virtual machine vm you can create one more VM here, assign some 2 GB RAM, 1 CPU, and 20 GB hard disk. Depends on your necessity, you can give 4 plus 2, 6 only given. Still, I have 10 GB. I can create one more virtual machine. 
multiple VMs I can give like I can create like that. And all the business applications, whatever you want to run on physical computers, you can run it here. So you can utilize maximum 80 to 90 percent you can target here. I just consider for now 80 percent. When you create more virtual machines here, you will consume more memory, CPU, and hard disk. That means your utilization is increasing. If you create one more, it will become 85%. But we are targeting like 80%, that's fine, okay? Safe limit, 80%. We should not use 100% continuously again. Even if it is a machine, if you continuously use, sometime it will break. Okay, better to use 80%, 80 to 85%, it's up to you. Okay. Now, instead of buying multiple physical computers, you have only one physical computer with this newly developed operating system. You are running same all your business applications here. You don't need to buy more and more physical computers. You don't need to spend more and more money here. And you don't need to worry about your performance also. However, you are executing your applications here and you are earning something. Same performance you are getting from here. Same application you are executing here and same profit you will get it from here. Right? So it's like almost we are using these idle resources and trying to utilize with this new OS. Fine. With that concept, they came into the market and this operating system, it started working as we expected. And in the market, it's a proven result that just very minimal to minimum, they say, 10 is to 1 range, you can say, save your infrastructure investments. That means earlier you were spending 10 rupees and earning 100 rupees as profit. Now using 1 rupee, same 100 rupees you can get as profit. But there are people with 100 is to 1 range also saving in the market now. But it is minimum to minimum, VMware will consider and say you, you can save 10 is to 1 range if you use this product instead of traditional model, old model. Okay. And it is not just explained, it's proven. This product is there from last 26 years. 26, maybe this year it will be 27. Okay. Fine. First five years, it did not go well for the company. Then afterwards, from 2003 onwards, during that twin tower break in 2003 only, right? That moment, there they understood the value of these virtual machines. Entire world understood the value of virtual machines. They were one of the company from that twin tower were using these virtual machines. When the, the data center in the twin tower was broken down, they were quickly able to bring their all virtual machines in another site. Okay, to do that, they were using different product to copy from one site to another site. So quickly, within days, not even days, within hours, even after collapsing that data center, let's say, where this physical computer was there, right? That building was completely collapsed suddenly. Within hours, they were able to bring up their all business applications without data loss within hours in another location. So at that moment, the 2003, many people came to know about this product. It's almost 23 now, so 20 years. They are leading the market now in this way. It's a proven. Companies can save this much. Okay. To spend, instead of spending more money on the old methods, if you use this one, they can save this. Much. And it is proven. So that's why many companies are using this technology. And we are the administrators who will install this OS and who will this manage these virtual machines, create this virtual machine. Let's say after some time, this 20 GB is full. We will make it 40 GB. 2 GB is not enough, we will increase 4 GB. But here it should be there. Okay, the total amount should be available here. Fine, we will be the administrator who will be managing this technology, like OS installation to the machines. And there will be a lot of other advantages of using virtual machines instead of physical machines. Okay, those advantages we will discuss in our further classes. Clear? That is the basic concept, the key idea where this technology was born. Okay. 
and VMware is the just a company name. Fine. So they have developed this OS and that changed the entire IT infrastructure model. And you may think uneven. Yesterday also I got a question that one. So now the cloud technology is booming up. What will happen to this VMware? Cloud is nothing but these VMs only will be presented on a web, web page. Okay. Instead of you buying hardware, this computer, uh, this computer and OS and everything you manage, somebody will rent these virtual machines from different company. They also, the cloud company, whoever is offering you these virtual machines, they should be having this technology in the back end. To create virtual machines, they need this one, physical server and create this concept. They need this technology, this OS, I mean, I mean to say this OS. Okay. Clear? So this is, that's what I used to say with many of you. This technology is backbone of cloud. And also, not all the companies will go to cloud. Very small companies only will go to cloud. We'll discuss the reason for us. Okay. Why big, uh, medium and enterprise level companies will not go to cloud. There are reasons behind. So small and medium companies only will go to cloud. Medium to enterprise will still use this technology. We will understand those reasons technically later. Okay. Fine. Any questions now? Okay. Created OS folder. Is it possible to delete? Yes, we can delete it. Yes, we can delete them. Just power off and delete. So I'll show you every day how we work from the interface. This is the one machine, like, okay. So this is one physical computer, right? This is one physical computer installed with newly developed OS from VMware and multiple VMs created, right? From my web browser, I will enter that machine network address. We will discuss what is this address, why we use in this series only. This is the network address sent to this computer in our lab. From my laptop here, from my laptop, I'm connecting to this machine. Okay, this is my laptop. I'm sitting here trying to connect to this address from web browser here. So it will ask you to enter username and password. As I know the username and password, I'm entering. Once I log in, this is one physical server which is located in our lab while existing. Okay, you can see there. Okay. There is one physical machine installed with this OS and assigned with this address. Okay. Now if you open, if you go to virtual machines, you can see six virtual machines are running on top of one physical computer. One physical computer, six virtual machines are running on top of it here. Out of which one is powered on, remaining are powered off. While looking at the icons itself, you can see. This is a green color play button is enabled, which is powered on, rest all powered on. If you want to power on, it's a GUI based administration, as I said yesterday. Right click, power, power on. So our management will be like this with GUI operations. Right click or tabs we have to use. Okay. I want to power on this machine. I can use shortcuts also. Select this machine, here shortcuts will be there. Quickly, instead of right click, go power, power on, I can just simply select here and click power on. Like this. It's powering on now. Okay, on top of one physical machine, six virtual computers are running in our lab. Fine. So if you want to modify something, you can go to edit settings and you can simply modify. In a physical computer, if you want to increase the RAM, and we know we need to buy a RAM from market, shut down the laptop, open the box, then insert. When you are shutting down, means you are stopping your work. Okay, you are stopping your work. Here, you don't need to stop your work if it is a virtual machine. Right click, edit settings, go to the memory, increase 4 GB, right? I'll mark it as 6 GB. Just say okay. Within seconds, we can increase RAM. 
okay you don't need to even stop your work so that is also another advantage of using virtual machine physical we know how much time it will take and you have to stop your work that's why many companies started using this tech we get a lot of benefits those benefit we will discuss in any the for the classes clear and that company name is vmware they have developed new operating system right initially it was called esx elastic sky x they named it as elastic sky x initially the voice they have developed now that means physical server i mean physical computer for now physical computer with esx operating system on top of it we create virtual machines okay. virtual machines we will create now we know esx machine physical server with esx os installed in it physical server with esx os together it's called esx machine And this is virtual machine. Now we know two things: ESX machine and virtual machine. It's called virtual computer also. It's a software computer. computer generated with the software okay. physical computer with esx os installed in it right clear okay. and few more terms to understand here we will be installing windows Or Linux and some application here, some other application here. Now this part is completely called host. ESX machine we are calling right. ESX machine is also called host, and this one is called guest. host machine or you can say guest machine host machine instead of calling machine we just call host guest machine instead of calling machine again we call guest okay or vm simply vm and the os which we have installed here is called guest os so host means something like very simple in our regular day to day life also we experience if someone some relatives comes to our house they will become guests and we will become their host like we will provide some services to them and they will be our guest in normal world we call guests right same way here also this machine is serving memory and cpu hard disk to these machines host that's why it's called host machine it is accepting services from here right it's guest machine instead of calling guest machine in day to day job we call vms 
and this is host host vm and the os when we are referring inside this machine to differentiate between this os and this os we call this as guest os that means os inside the virtual machine Guest is nothing but PM. Host is nothing but physical computer with ESX OS. Clear these terms? Try to remember these terms. We will be working with these terms every day. Yeah. So this OS was developed by a company called VMware and virtual machines instead of physical machines. So any questions now? And if you want to delete, yes, it's possible. Just right power off. And it's very simple to delete right click delete do not delete existing vms if you want to delete you create your own vm and delete because these two are very important tc and vc if you don't have it like we cannot do our lab so don't delete them if you want to de try delete create your own vm and delete i'll show you how to create and delete later create later delete you already aware just right click and delete power off and delete if it is running, it will not allow you to delete. If you power off, you can delete it. So any questions now? If, uh, if you fail it fast, let me know. Or if it is any changes needed or examples are needed to understand better. Let me know. 